Doing over 150 miles an hour in a 50-foot racing boat with 4,000 horsepower, traveling a football field a second requires precise preparation as well as paying close attention to the weather. Everything's looking great. We've got a light breeze, a little uh, small chop on the water, which will allow us to go to our maximum speed. Look to the weather forecast, everything looks good for the rest of the day. Uh, the boat's set up for top speed, so um, we'll get out there now and see what it can do. Hey Scotty, fire them up. Data looking absolutely perfect, 92 miles an hour, 4300, temperatures, pressures, everything looks fantastic guys. The Miss Geico boat is a catamaran, which means air passes through the tunnel, causing compression and creating lift, which causes the boat to rise up out of the water and reduce hydrodynamic drag. The less drag, the faster the boat will go. A headwind, ironically, can increase speed, while a tailwind can reduce speed. This can make a difference of up to 10 to 15 miles an hour. Now, it's time to really crank up the speed. Get it! The water was fantastic, the, the air started off cool. It started to heat up a little bit, but all the things were right to come out and do this. Unfortunately, most race days, we got wind, we have all those other things. So days like this are such a pleasure. So today with the Miss Geico boat, we ran uh, 7,000 RPM, 4,000 horsepower, and top speeds of uh, 170 miles an hour. That's what I call a successful day. I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori.